So this is the chassis sort of built up. Um, the only thing now left to do we've, um, is to adjust our body posts. And um, yeah, we just need to, you can see I've tidied up the wiring. So we've now shortened the servo leads so that they are sort of straight into the servo. Um, short, given this a little protection as well. So that the wiring for the motor goes straight back. And yeah, we're just about there. Everything's all in and working. We just need to just do a final test. So yeah, you can sort of see how I've wired those in. Just rewired the plugs here. Uh, so we've got nice shorter wires and I've just put a braid over there. So that should sort it out. Uh, switches here so we can just reach in. Um, so now all it is, is put the bodywork on. Right, so we're now on step 39. This is the last step and it's all about putting the body posts to the right height and putting the body on. So first things first, we need to cut some body posts. Uh, so how do I cut my body posts? Well, I cut them using a brand new blade in my standing knife. Um, I find this is the most neatest way. And uh, hopefully I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Uh, on my chopping mat here okay so let's uh, let's see how we go so the first thing you need to do is you need to work out how high you need the body post so I do this by putting the body on and making the body height according to what I need and then I count the number of holes uh, so in this particular instance here you can see that I've the front I'm going to take minus four off the top and the rear I'm going to take minus eight off the top and the bottom clip is going to go plus three off the bottom and plus nine off the bottom for the rear. Uh, so that's how I sort of do mine to make a little note. Uh, so just show you how I cut my body clips to get them as neat as I possibly can. So take your body clip and in my case we want to take four off the top. So one, two, three, four holes which is there and we're literally going to use a knife and push down through with pressure through here and make it nice and neat. So here we go. Let's try this. One, two, three, four. Take it to there and keep it nice and straight and push. And then what I actually do is try to twist at the same time to get a nice even cut. like so and you get a little bit of a cut like this and it's just a case of just skimming it so it makes it look neat and tidy you can see I take a little slither little slither off and it kind of leaves it nice and tidy and then all I do is just to make sure it looks nice and square I use it by eye and just run the blade over the top to get it nice and square just gently take them off until it looks square. If it looks square, it is square. Use your eyes. Best tools in the world. Okay, and you just keep trimming that until you get it right. And that's how I do my body posts. Nice neat cut. All right. A little bit lopsided here, so a little bit more trimming. There we go. Like so. Like so. Like that. And you just keep on it until you get it nice and square. Okay. Right, so once you've cut your body posts, you screw them back onto the car. So the rear ones screw on here. So you just sort of lift that up so you can get to the screw head. Screw that back in. And then you pop the, the bottom pin nine for me it was nine up from the bottom so one two three four five six seven eight nine as you can see there on both sides and again for the front so 
you screw that back in, screw your body post back in the front, and then it was plus three, one, two, three, and again for the other side. And it's now time to see if the body fits. And I also put um, a little bit of a sort of like a plastic washer over those because I like the little bit of space between the body and it just creates that little extra space between the body and the wheel clearance. Um, there we go. You can always bring them off and lower the body if you wish. Uh, so now it's time to see if the body fits. And there we have the body is now mounted and I'm quite pleased with it. The body pins are not too tall out of the top of the body. We've got enough clearance for the suspension travel. And yeah, I think in all that's turned out quite a nice, nice beetle. I'm very happy with the colour. Might get the uh, the car into the into the sunlight and have a look what it's, it looks like in the sunlight. Let's take a look at that. There we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> quite happy with those. Body pins are nice and short. And there we go on this side as well. Yes, I think that looks like a a Beetle rally car. And, uh, yeah, quite happy with it. Right, I think we need something inside though, don't you? Um, it looks a bit bare inside. So um, let's see what we can do, see if we can put something inside, shall we? But there you have it, the MF01X chassis, the Tamiya Beetle rally car, and uh, mine's in this copper color. Um, which is a Volkswagen colour um, of a more modern era. So I've kind of given my old Beetle um, a modern twist. <laughs> Here we are. Anyway, say hello to the new edition. Yes, I'm happy with that. Thank you guys for watching and I appreciate everyone's support on the channel. It means a lot to me that people are watching my videos and taking that time out. So do thank you. And uh, thank you to the RC Elf for making this beautiful bream come true. Thank you. Keep watching what's going to be next.